Right now I'm kneeling in the prison of Christ. According to ancient tradition, this is the place where Jesus Christ was imprisoned in between his conversations with Pontius Pilate. You are about to enter the traditional prison of Christ and Barabbas. During the trial of Jesus with Pontius Pilate, it is believed that both of these men were detained in this facility. In this part of the prison, there are anchor holes in the ceiling, around which prisoners' chains were fastened. And behind this iron railing is a primitive altar. On the right side of this area, there is an ancient plaster-lined baptistry. You might say that this was the world's first prison chapel, and it could have been built before the time that Christianity was legal in the Roman Empire. The one thing this room does tell you is that the early church believed that this was a holy place, that it was, in fact, the prison of Christ. Now we're going to descend into the lowest part of this prison. The prisoners who were held down here were confined in total darkness. All over this jail there were anchor holes, through which each prisoner's chains were wrapped so that they couldn't escape. This is the traditional prison of Barabbas. It was the deepest, darkest part of this dungeon. Now, come look at this over here. This is a blocked doorway. It's a door that leads out to the street of first century Jerusalem. In the fifth chapter of the book of Acts, we read that Peter and John were once arrested and put into a place called the public jail. Acts 5.19 says that an angel opened the door of the prison and allowed them to escape, telling them to go on to the Temple Mount. You are standing in the only public jail near the Temple Mount, and if this jail is the one spoken about in Acts chapter 5, then it's likely that this is the door that the angel opened. Right now, we're going into the traditional prison of Jesus, where it is believed that he was detained both before and perhaps during his trial with Pontius Pilate. In this cell, you can see a cold stone bench on which are carved two holes, through which Jesus was forced to put his legs, and his ankles were chained, making it impossible for him to escape. The anchor holes that you see on the right of the cell were also used to chain prisoners. Now as we're leaving, here is something to reflect on. It is very likely that the cross on which Jesus died was actually intended for Barabbas. While we often say that Jesus died in our place, from the standpoint of history, Jesus actually died in Barabbas' place. When you think about it, isn't Barabbas a picture of us all? We are all guilty, and we deserve to be condemned. But if you love the Lord with all of your heart, then like Barabbas, you will not be condemned. You will walk into the light, and you will live eternally, because Jesus died in your place.